Before we go any further, I want to say thank you to Thames and Cosmos for this free toy. Greetings, everyone. This is your Toy Commander. And are you guys ready for today's mission? Great, so am I. All right, kids, today we are going to be making some bubble gum. Well, at least we're gonna try to make some bubble gum because it is a science experiment and not all experiments come out all the time. But if we fail, we will try again. But we have the super duper bubble gum lab. And this is for ages six plus, and we will be making watermelon, orange, or classic bubblegum flavor. And this is also a STEM experiment kit, which means science, technology, engineering, and math. So on the back, it shows a list of the contents, and it has our full color manual included. Also, we'll be able to label our gum with decorative stickers, learn about polymers, and conduct experiments with bubble gum. Okay, time to open it up and check it out. All right, so here is our manual right here, 16 pages, and our contents. And we also have some of these stickers. These are for bubble gum wrappers. We have the orange, the classic, and the watermelon stickers. Let's open up this bag. So here we have a bunch of different bags. This is our corn syrup. This is our powdered sugar. Here is our gum base. What is this here? This is orange flavor. And this one is bubble gum flavor. Wait a minute, where's the watermelon flavor? Oh, here it is right down the bottom, watermelon. So watermelon, bubble gum, and orange flavor. Let's put those aside. Let's put our stickers back there. We're not gonna need those yet. And let's go to our manual for our first instruction. So first safety. So you will need adult supervision because you'll be dealing with hot elements and sharp objects like maybe a pair of scissors. Okay guys? And first and foremost make sure you wash your hands and have a clean area to work with. So here are some of the items that we will be needing for our experiment. We're gonna need some measuring spoons, a glass container, or you can also use a paper or um, a throwaway container because it can get sticky in a measuring cup, a pair of scissors, a nice area. This is a cutting board to work on. The first thing we're gonna need to do is warm up and get our corn syrup nice and soft. So we're gonna dip it and let it sit in some warm water. Okay, once your corn syrup is softened, take it out of the warm water. It is definitely soft and warm. You're gonna cut it open and pour it into this bowl. Okay, the next step would be step number four would be to cut open the gum base and add about two tablespoons into this dish. Let's use this, this is one tablespoon. Two. We have plenty left for more gum later. And kids, did you know that gum base actually comes from a tree? Sometimes different companies use a man-made base, but a lot of it comes from a tree. Next, we need to cover the gum base pellets with a little bit of warm water and set it aside. Okay, so the next step would be step number six, and we need to cut off a corner of this powdered sugar and place it in the center of our work area. It'll be a small mound like a volcano and we're gonna make a small indent in the middle. So it says about three tablespoons. And we need to make a small hole in the middle about two inches wide. 
just like that. Next thing we need to do is drain some of the water out of the gum base and microwave for 30 seconds or until soft. Okay, now that I have my gum base nice and soft, I want to make sure it's soft with the fork. Okay, now we're ready for the next step. The next step is to add corn syrup to the gum base. And it says two tablespoons, so let's take our corn syrup, approximately. And the next thing we're going to do is open up a flavor packet and add it to the mix. We are going to open bubble gum flavor. Cut off the side and then add the powder to the mix. Now we need to mix our solution. Once we've mixed our solution, we want to pour it onto the table right in the middle of the powder. Then mix it all together. It is dry to the touch. You can use your fingers to roll it in more of the powdered sugar. Just so it doesn't stick to your hands, but it's feeling more like gum, look. Okay, next thing you want to do is roll it out. Okay, so I have a nice long piece of bubble gum here. Now I'm going to cut it into little pieces and wrap it up. So the next thing we're going to need to do is take our wax paper and cut some little squares. So take a piece of your wax paper, piece of the gum, put it in the wax paper. And there you have your piece of gum and then you take a label, if it sticks it's a little bit powdery and you put it right on your wrapper like that. And then you have your piece of gum. So now it's time to try our bubble gum, we'll see how it tastes, it looks like bubble gum, it feels like it. It's pretty good. I do have to say that I, maybe I didn't add enough of the gum base because it's not sticking together that much as, as I hoped it would. It kind of falls apart in your mouth a little bit. So next time I'll add more gum base. So there are other experiments in this book too that you can do with your gum. Here's one experiment right there. And then if you go over to the next page, um, we have a, a page all about polymers. You can read that. And the natural gum from a tree, like I mentioned earlier, gum does come from a tree. It's a rubber base and then they turn it into gum. And here is a brief history of bubble gum. Alright kids, that's it for this video with the Super Duper Bubble Gum Lab from Thames and Cosmos. And like I said, not all experiments will come out right the first time. So now I know what to do for my next batch of bubble gum. Don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and come back to Planet Zizzle to keep the missions going. This is your Toy Commander signing off, and I will see you on our next mission. It's now time for me to blast off out of here. Three, two, one.